Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to review the Asus RT AC59UB2. But I believe we have already done that and you can try to check the individual review of that one later on. But what we are going to do today is to test the AI mesh capability of the Asus routers. And to make it possible, our friends from Asus Philippines sent us two RT AC59UB2 routers which are actually AI mesh capable routers. And okay, most of us are already satisfied with one powerful router. Like for example, you can have the Asus RT AC88U or the Blue Cave router, which we have, we have here. And maybe the RT AC59U V2, which can actually cover the entire house for Wi-Fi signal. But even though we have Wi-Fi connection on different places in our house, there are instances that the Wi-Fi speed is not enough to satisfy our needs. Like, for example, you can stream a 4K video without buffering if you are near the router or a few feet away from the router. But when you are two walls away or one floor away from the router, there will be a lot of buffering and sometimes even downgrade the resolution to 1080p or 720p to just have a smooth playback. And another example is when you are online or on Skype, Zoom or other streaming activities and you like to move around the house, the quality might suffer moving away from one access point to one router or to another, which is, I think, some of the basic issues that we encounter with a single powerful router. Don't get me wrong, it works, but AI mesh solution can help us with those problems that we encounter. So AI mesh requires at least two AI mesh capable router to configure. And some might be scared on configuring AI mesh, but I'll show you on how easy to configure AI mesh. Okay, and what we have here is our main AI mesh router. This was configured earlier before we started the video. It's just the configuration is just a basic one, the normal configuration of an ordinary Asus router. Okay, while the other one is the unconfigured router which uh, we will be configured as an AI mesh node. No configuration was done to this one. It's a new router out of the box. Okay, and we will be using a LAN cable to configure this one. What we have here is a basic LAN cable. We will be plugging it in on the new router that is still unconfigured. Okay, on the one port, the blue one con connected. Then after that one, let's get the AI mesh router or the main node and plug it in on any LAN port available. Okay, then after that one, we're ready to configure the AI mesh node. So I'll be using my desktop to configure the AI mesh node for this one. Okay, and let's see, we are already connected to the RTAC 59U 5 gigahertz frequency, the main AI mesh router, then click on sign in. Then after that one, you'll be able to see a set of uh, available button you can click, but we will be clicking AI Mesh. Okay, then after that one, on the bottom part, you'll be able to see Add AI Mesh node. Just click on that one. Automatically, it will prompt a new window and automatically it searches available AI Mesh router that can be configured or added to your Mesh network or AI Mesh network. Okay, for now, it's uh, the icon is Ethernet and this is the name of the router and the MAC address. So just click on that one, then hit on connection. I'm not really sure why it says connection. Maybe it should be configure or something like that but I'm not really sure regarding that one then after this it will take around two minutes to complete using a LAN cable but you can also configure this one by a wireless or without the LAN cable it will just take more than more time like three to five minutes to complete okay then aside from this one let's just wait for this to finish Okay, and we are already done with adding a new AI mesh node. You can just click finish, but if you have another node to be configured, just click on another node. Click finish for now, and as you can see here, what we have is uh, the main router, which is the this one, and the AI mesh node just under the main router. 
Okay, and as you can see, the connection quality is great. And let's try to click on the network for the AI Mesh node. And as you can see, it is a link type Ethernet, which means that we are connected by uh, Ethernet or LAN cable directly from the main AI mesh router. Okay, this uplink type automatically changes if there is a problem with the LAN cable or the LAN cable got stolen or disconnected. It will automatically convert or transition to wireless AI mesh node. It will be connected to a 2.4 GHz frequency or 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. And ASUS called that self-healing it will automatically change on which is better connection for the uplink type. If uh, 5 GHz is better, it will convert to 5 GHz, but you have to configure the management as well to set the priority. Is it auto or just uh, the priority will be Ethernet or LAN cable. And also on the management side, you can also reboot the node or apply USB application or remove the node directly. Then on the client, you can see all the least wired and wireless meaning you can still use the AI mesh node uh, LAN port on its back so you can connect a laptop or a desktop directly on the AI mesh node then aside from that one what are our, the other information from this okay you have your main router and the network the connection type this one is directly connected to the internet okay and I think that's all for the configuration of this one Okay, we have configured the AI Mesh Network, but what is the real improvement that we can achieve with the AI Mesh? Before I show you the improvement on AI Mesh, I will first show you on what is it like on a traditional multi-router or multi-access point setup. I'll be using my laptop on this one, and the first window will show you the ping test to see if we have internet connection. The second window will be the MAC address of the router where we are currently connected. If we transition to another router or access point, the MAC address will change. And of course, we will try to have a Facebook video call while moving from second floor to our loop deck. And as you can see, the transition of my Wi-Fi connection from one router to another took a long time, somewhere around 40 seconds. And by the time it is fully connected, my video call is already disconnected. And now I'll show you the improvement that we can get with AI Mesh. It will be the same setup. We have the ping, the MAC address, transition, and video call. And as you can see, there is a big improvement. It took around 3 seconds to transition to another node and the video call recovered in less than 5 seconds. Okay, maybe you are not yet impressed with that improvement. Then let us try to check on how good is AI Mesh on Mobile Legends Gaming. 
currently we are connected to the main AI mesh router or the one labeled as home then i'm playing mobile legends while walking to the roof deck i hope you can see that small screen and try to observe if you can see any lag or any issue with my connection and i wish you can also see that single digit latency and now let us try to check on where we are connected and when we move to our roof deck and let's refresh that page and as you can see we are connected on another node which is labeled living room guys that was a smooth transition from one node to another and we can achieve a single digit latency on any node and maybe you're still not satisfied with the gaming performance that we had earlier Maybe let's try to do if we can do a speed test and have a good internet speed from the main AI mesh router and also on our mesh node. Okay, let's get our phone and okay, we're connected now and let's try to check router. Our Huawei P30 Pro is currently connected on home, which is our main ASUS AI mesh router. And click on speed test, go. Okay, and while waiting for this one guys, I would just like you to know that our uplink type, the one we're currently using right now, is an Ethernet cable or a LAN cable because I always prefer LAN cable if my router is connecting from one router to another or my desktop, laptop, or my smart TV. Those are all connected to LAN cable. Okay, and what we have is a 207 Mbps download speed and upload speed of 214 while walking up on our roof deck okay and let's try to check we are further walking away then okay let's do the speed test okay we have 200 20 Mbps of download speed on our AI Mesh node and about 210 upload speed. Guys, you can watch or stream 4K videos on your mobile phone if you have a 4K mobile phone or on your smart TV or on your laptop or desktop, even on the roof deck. And manage all those devices on one management room. Okay, enough with those. And let's see what are the things that I like with AI Mesh. First is, it is easy to install and flexible and scalable. Add as much node as you want to cover the entire house. Second will be the self-healing network. Because you will never know if there will be instances that the LAN cable uplink will break. Third will be seamless roaming. As what we have seen earlier, the video call was not disconnected and we did not encounter any lags during transition on Mobile Legends. And fourth will be achieve good internet speed and latency on any node. You have seen the Mobile Legends test, I was able to get a single digit latency on any node. Fifth will be centralized. You can configure QoS, parental control, and other ASUS router feature on one management console. And it will take effect on all nodes. Six will be set up and managed by a PC or mobile app. And one thing that I think is missing is the guest network on all nodes. I was able to create a guest network, but it is only available on the main node. Then I tried to check further on ASUS support website and found out that there are some ASUS routers that support multi-node guest network on AI Mesh which rtac 59 uv 2 is not included on that list. For my suggestion, get one powerful AI mesh router, then if you think it's not enough, get another AI mesh router and set up your AI mesh network. That is what I actually like from ASUS, even though you have different router model, as long as it has AI mesh capability, you can build your own AI mesh network. Hmm, I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well. If you have questions, suggestions, and comments, 
comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on Facebook. Again, I would like to say thank you so much for our friends at ASUS Philippines for giving us an opportunity to explore their AI mesh network. Thanks. Have a great day and stay safe.